Good morning, and welcome to the 2010 Memorial Day ceremonies. I'm Gordon Mooney, commander of the American Legion, and uh, we'll get this started. Neil, could we troop the colors? Again, welcome to the uh, Memorial Day ceremonies. I'm very pleased to see all of you here and take time out for this day to remember our fallen comrades. I'll uh, turn it over to the Deacon Butch Stone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be with you always. Praise be to God our Father who raised Jesus Christ from the dead. My dear friends, we gather today to pray for our brothers and sisters who have fallen, given their lives for their country, for their families. They have passed from death to life in company with the Lord Jesus who died and rose to new life and are purified now of their faults we pray that God may welcome them among all the saints of heaven. Amen. We will now have Gettysburg Address uh, by Brent Gray. The transcript of the Gettysburg Address, 1863. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation, or any nation so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of it as a final resting place for those who have died here, that the nation might live. This we may, in all propriety, do, but, in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have hallowed it, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember, what we say here, while it can never forget what they did here. It is rather for us, the living, we here be dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they here gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve these dead shall not have died in vain, that the nation shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Thanks, Brent. And in Flanders Field by Jason Penkin. In Flanders Field, the puppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row. The mark our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly. Scars heard, amid guns below. We are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw a sunset glow, lived and were lived, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from falling hands we throw the touch. Be yours to hold it high if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep through puppies grow in Flanders fields. Thank you, Jason. And we'll have America's Answer by Jay Highland. And followed, following American Answer 
uh, Jay will do Patriot's Promise, which was written by Sonny Bruns from Sac City. America's Answer in Flanders Field. Rest ye in peace, ye Flanders dead, the fight that ye so bravely led. We've taken up and we will keep true faith with you who lie asleep, with each across to mark his bed in Flanders fields. Fear not that ye have died for naught. The torch ye threw to us we caught. Ten million hands we hold it high, and freedom's light will, shall never die. We've learned the lesson that ye taught in Flanders fields. A Patriot's Promise. They fought hard in the Pacific and on European soil. The evils of this nasty world they fought reverently to foil. Many others counted on them to keep the dogs at bay, and they proved just what they're made of each and every day. Many soldiers died around them, and yet they struggled on. They prayed for loved ones back at home and to make it till next dawn. They stood and fought against all odds and conquered their, all their fear, fears. The lessons that they taught us shall, will shine throughout the years. What they experienced in those years we hope never to repeat. It's because of these great people this nation's proud upon its feet. I for one am very proud to be American because if it came down to it we'd do it all again. <laughs> 